Okay, Heroes is back. The review for chapters 12, Upon This Rock, and chapter 13, Let It Bleed. I'm going to try to do this fast because uh, this was supposed to be done yesterday, and I was tired and didn't do it. All right, um, basically, here we go. Uh, Claire takes some pancakes to Samuel. Uh, Samuel is looking at his her father's files. She knows it. Um, she's technically a prisoner. Hero is going nuts. He, you know, he talks about Sancho, so he's Don Quixote. We got Star Trek references, Don Quixote, Jedi, Highlander, Battlestar Galactica, King Arthur. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Samuel finds a rock. He's kind of going back in time, so and he's going to move this rock or whatever. Uh, we find Vanessa. We're going to actually see her by the end of this year. We have to because it only makes sense. You know, he's trying to get Vanessa, you know, because he loves her. We go back to the carnival. Eli is freaking Claire out. Um, Emma doesn't get into med school. Samuel visits her. He's the one that gave her the cello. Um, Eli is being creepy. She knocks out the root, and then the other guys disappear. That's kind of cool. Emma's true ability is that she can control the motions of the music, all right? She can suck you in with it, or uh, um, as we find out in the previews for next week, she can actually potentially kill you with it, which is very scary, okay? Um, we find out that, uh, you know, the whole thing with the lizards and stuff like uh as they find out hero or whatever then he gets he seems to get back to normal for a little bit and uh that's where they left he dropped off uh mohinder because we see him in the previews for next year i i figured it out before like i even saw the rest of it because that was pretty easy uh samuel's gift he's kind of like the ben linus of this season he'll tell you he'll tell you the truth and then still allow you to you know and still manipulate you with it it's kind of kind of crazy um Ian is the guy that can grow stuff. He grows a whole bunch of stuff in the desert. It's pretty cool. Claire checks her phone, finds out that Nathan is officially dead. Then she finds out, like, what happened with it and stuff. And um, 21 Guns Loot was very touching. And uh, the Mystic Man formation was kind of cool. Okay. Um, for Let It Bleed, Peter talks to Noah. Uh, he's the one that actually came up with the idea of covering up the thing with a pilot, whatever. Uh, Samuel draws Vanessa, and then Siler shows up. Can't kill him because, um, as we find out, he's kind of, like, impotent because of what Hero said to him um, back in the day with uh, Charlie and whatever, that he's going to die alone, okay? And uh, he doesn't want that. But he did get uh, Lydia's power. And we do find out that at the end, um, Lydia's power, it draws a person on his arm and uh, with the ink or whatnot. And uh, basically, you know, Samuel takes a gamble, and he knows that it's going to keep silent i mean samuel is he's playing all sorts of different angles or whatnot you know he's he's not a good guy we know this um but he's not entirely bad he that line was pretty good with him and silent and uh, bottom line is that he's outside of claire's window they're gonna have like a, a little uh you know conversation probably to try to figure out what's exactly wrong and uh maybe he'll actually apologize to claire or something i don't know uh edgar find they find out some stuff about the camp then uh you know he gets mad and takes it with him um peter that sort of thing peter's just peter but the one thing about peter okay he he claire is gonna let him bleed you know kind of like that bleed stuff and uh you know that's kind of where that thing is but uh he basically begs or whatever and says and then he realizes that because of what claire says which is really good writing um, that, uh, you know, this is not honoring your brother at all. So he meets up with West, who we don't see on camera, which makes sense. Um, and he can fly again. But the weird thing about Peter is they, they may finally actually give him more than just the one little ability to do because they show him dreaming about Emma killing a bunch of people or whatnot. Um, hopefully what they really need to do with Peter to make him interesting again is give him more than one ability again because it's it's getting boring. You know, this, this can't just be about... Um, you know, the Samuel versus Siler show, because that's kind of how I, I envision this thing to end or whatever this year. Um, and basically, you know, uh, Mohinder is definitely going to be back. Um, it, it's looking like uh, that this the, the series is going to last for another year, because I, I, from what I read about Comcast is uh, um, I think they really, really like Heroes a lot, because that's something that they can definitely keep or whatnot. Um, you just don't go against like, you know, dancing with the stars or house, you know, that's why it's going back to nine because it traditionally does better against 24 because not everybody's into 24. So anyway, um, 
theories. Hero is gonna die. All right. Here's the thing. I saw like NBC does like the little uh, blurbs about whatever, and I know in a couple of weeks because I actually looked this up. Um, this is not a spoiler. This is stuff that you can get from like a TV guide or a TiVo or whatever. Um, Hero's gonna die. It does not say he's going to die, but it says certain guest stars are in it, and David Anders is listed as one of the guest stars. You know, um, you know Takezo Kenze. Um, that means that's the episode he's gonna die. He's gonna die. There's only six more episodes this uh, this year, which is kind of strange, you know, because it'll be over in mid February. Weird, you know. But um, I think that's uh, it's it's strange. Uh, what are your thoughts? I've been saying Hero's gonna die a long time. Um, I know that Mohinder was supposed to be on Rex is Not Your Lawyer, like he was in that pilot or whatnot, and now it looks like yeah, that he's not. Um, so who knows what's going to happen with this? I think that uh, Hero's, Hero's got to die. And you know what? I think we're going to find other people that might die. Um, Samuel, it, it makes sense for him dying and Siler taking his powers. Um, you know, other people that, I mean, really, Matt Parkman, he wasn't even in these two hours. He probably will be less of a character this year, I'm just assuming. You know, there's only six episodes left, and he's kind of like, I mean, what's he going to do? You know, what's he going to do? But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I Hero's going to die. Tell You tell me why Hero won't die. All right? He's losing his mind more. There's no real way to heal him um, unless he goes back in time and then does something. I mean, really. It, it, I mean, they could really do it, but it just they, – they've been leading up, the, leading up to this for a long time, okay? It's almost like – he kind of has to die, and people are like, people just kind of expect it to him to not die because that's what heroes does, you know. You kill you off, but then oh, like look at Jessica has another character, blah blah blah, you know, Ali Lair or whatever. But uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? You know, what do you think? Tell me, who do you think is gonna live through this season, and who do you think is gonna die? All right, 